Delirium. I'd just like to spend a moment on delirium and then we'll have a look at some assessment material for this unit. As we mentioned earlier, it's an acute disturbance due to a medical condition of acute disturbance in consciousness with reduced clarity of the awareness of the environment due to medical condition, generalised brain dysfunction with impairment in thinking, perceiving and remembering. But the key element here is it's reversible. The causes of delirium are many. Let's think about some of these. Drug intoxication. Often the paramedics are dealing with people in delirium because of drug intoxication. Withdrawal of alcohol or anxiolytic sedatives. Metabolic failures due to the kidneys not clearing, so they get uremia. Uh, liver failure, cardiac failure, electrolyte disorders. Endocrine causes, hyperglycemia for instance, associated with diabetes. Systemic infections, UTI. Intracranial infections such as encephalitis or meningitis. Other intracranial causes, space occupying lesions. Head injury, nutritional and vitamin deficiency and epilepsy as well. All of those can cause a delirium and I'm sure they're not the only causes. So post-operatively you can be in a delirium as well, can't you? I remember some of those times even when I had a colonoscopy coming out of the, the sedation can cause a delirium type experience. But coming out of anaesthetic is even more so. Distinguishing between delirium and dementia, can you see it clearly there in your table? Is it okay? Sort of. <laughs> All right, uh, Ellie, can, can you make a note for me to uh, produce that in a one pager? So here we've got acute onset versus gradual onset, identifiable time of onset versus what they call um, insidious onset. The, the word insidious simply means it's hidden and it happens slowly. Um, the cause is usually treatable in a delirium, but uh, not treatable in dementia. Usually reversible versus irreversible. Attention is impaired, but in, uh, in dementia, in, attention may not necessarily be impaired. Um, in delirium, consciousness ranges from lethargic to hyper alert but no effect on consciousness in the, until the later stages in dementia. Um, the effect on memory varies in delirium, but loss of memory is pretty um, predictable and changes predictably over the course of dementia. And medical attention is required immediately to prevent dire consequences for delirium, but medical attention is required less urgently within dementia. So these are an important, this is an important table, I think, just to be clear for yourselves about where the distinctions are. And there will be some questions in your uh, short answer online assessment that you'll need to do about delirium.